Hey there, my name is Adam Rhodes and I am with the community organization Mystic Rhodes Productions or MRP and we've got a project that we're hoping that we can uh, find some of students to help us work on and it is developing a gaming online gaming app for a game called Baldorf. All right, since I am the person that you'll be working with on this project, I just wanted to take a minute to introduce myself again. My name is Adam Rhodes with uh, MRP, and I am married and have four children. Uh, my wife, Johanna, is a successful real estate agent, which has allowed me to do more of the, the community work and community building type work that we'll be doing together and that I've uh, been very involved in the last several years. I have a daughter in fifth grade a daughter in third grade and two twin baby boys so that is a little about me our organization mystic roads productions or mrp as i mentioned we are a charitable organization we're a, a 501c3 nonprofit. our mission is to use the power of our products to build momentum for positive community change and in a minute that'll make a little more sense to you we have three areas that we work in we any projects that we do are either in education community service or uh, healthy living and then we have kind of a two-pronged approach where we try to accomplish or have successes in those particular focus areas one is we have a small small grant program so if you're a community organization or an individual or somebody who's not really a registered nonprofit but you want to do something good in your community and that is Lincoln generally but doesn't necessarily have to be Lincoln but if you want to do something good in the Lincoln community you can apply to us for a small grant through MRP to help fund your project and then we also do uh, many different kinds of community projects on our own uh, we do a lot of food security work we do environmental cleanups we do after school programs uh, so those all kind of fall you know into our focus areas and those are project project projects that we do on our own a little history on the organization we started uh, about 2004 was when the idea of MRP came together. I was a Peace Corps volunteer serving in Jamaica. Another volunteer and I had started doing some outside community projects from our, our general uh, daily jobs that we did while we were down there. And we just got really involved in those outside projects and we started came up with the organization MRP to do those projects through. When we moved back, finished our service in Jamaica and moved back to the States, uh, we decided we wanted to give MRP a shot up here. So that's when we started turning it into uh, a US based organization uh, we are so and then we ended up registering here in Nebraska and we got our nonprofit service in 2012 or non nonprofit status in 2012 so we have a, a motto I guess that we kind of live by and that is called you buy and we give and why we that is one of our big mottos at MRP is because we have some products that we make uh, handmade small batch type stuff here in town and we sell those products and then the money that we make from those product sales goes back to uh, community programs that we do. We have a line of hot sauces and seasonings called Dirt Nap Dip. Um, hot sauce, barbecue mustard, jerk seasoning, curry seasonings, different things like that. We have some of our projects, products for sale at the Russ's markets here in town. Otherwise we sell off of our website and we do a lot of farmers markets and craft fairs for sales as well. And then we have, and those were all started in Jamaica. And then we also have a game called Baldorf, which is a game that the, the guy, myself and my friend who started in MRP, we created a game called Baldorf uh, when we were board volunteers living in rural Jamaica with not a lot of do lot to do during our free time we came up with a game called Baldorf and then again when we came home we decided we were going to use that to continue uh, building MRP through this game of Baldorf and very basic uh, well you'll learn all about it but it's very basically it's a game you need a court you need a little bit of athletic ability not much but a little bit you need a ball and you need some people to play with and you score points over a certain amount of innings and the person with the most points wins. So it's very typically a game, but there's a lot more to it as you will learn. Uh, we sell Baldorf game sets to raise funds for our programs. And then we also have an entire education program where we go into schools, whether it's after school clubs, summer programs or presentations or things like that. We go into schools and teach kids how to play these games with uh, the secret goal of um, teaching kids a new way to be active and healthy and have fun while doing it. So that's kind of a little bit about our organization and who you'll be working with. So I just wanted to take a couple of minutes now to talk about our project. So 
Uh, we were involved in this program in 2019 and we had a group of students who developed a gaming app for the game Baldor. So they took, like literally took the real game of Baldor and turned it into a, a game that you can play on your phone. And it was really cool. We actually, our group won the Platinum Award for the best project and we had our, one of our students leaders was uh, the top student or one of the top students in the program that year. So it was very successful, but there were a few things uh, we, our project kind of finished right when the COVID health pandemic started. So that really disrupted the, the final phases of our project. So there's a few things that for this project, we want to take the, the app that this kids developed the first time to the next level. There are some minor bugs and issues and little errors and things like that that we want to get fixed up. So that'd be kind of easy. But the next part is we want to fully customize the app and make it a more fun and interactive program for our end users. So I'm not a big video game person, but I like to play Mario Kart with my kids. So if you've ever played Mario Kart before, you know that you get to, before you do a race, you get to choose your character, you get to choose the vehicle you're gonna drive, you get to choose the, the stadium or the race courses that you're gonna race on and what powers you have and all this different kind of stuff. So we want to kind of take that concept to the Baldorf Gaming app where you get to pick your character, your stadium, your ball, all that different kind of stuff and make it kind of a really character, uh, build your own character or your own little world type thing. Uh, we also want to make it multiplayer. Right now you can do multiplayer, but you have to be playing, you have to be there with a person and be playing on the same device. We want to make it where it is multiplayer online so you can play against anybody in the world. And you know, you could have more than one person playing in a match if you wanted to. Um, and it, so that'd be kind of the general concept to take that that uh, multiplayer thing up to the next level. And then one other thing that we weren't able to figure out last time, if there's a way to monetize this app, that it would be worth it to do that and then help raise like another income stream or revenue stream for our community development program. So we would want to look at that as well. And then ultimately if we get this app finished the the next phase so like phase three of our project is to develop like virtual reality Baldorf and we have another game called Pigdorf and we want to make a virtual reality version of that as well but our first goal is to get this app 100% um, where it needs to be so that's what this project is going to be all about the the big thing besides you know this this app will improve our brand and improve our reach and improve potentially our revenue and, and the money we can give back to communities. Uh, we also use it in our education programs. So we use it as a way to, you know, a way to keep kids involved. Um, we try to do healthy, active type stuff, but we also came up with this app as another way, if, that, if they're not able to do that, that they can still be involved in the Baldorf community and still play the games and still um, compete against other people as well. So we use that as a, number one, we use the app as a teaching tool. So how to play the game, like a fun way to learn all the rules of the game and stuff like that. But then we also just use it as sessions in our club where if we're doing a bunch of different activities, we'll have stations and some kids can go sit down for, 10 minutes and play Baldorf online while the other kids are doing different activities. So we're really hoping that this will enhance our education programs, which are really growing right now, uh, mostly through after school programs with the uh, Lincoln Public Schools system. So that is it. That's the deal. That's our story. Uh, this is what we're looking to do. I had a lot of fun doing this last time and looking for the same again this time. If you want more information before you decide on which projects you want to choose, you can go to our website, mysticrose.org, learn about our organization, the other community projects we do, and then also learn all about Baldorf, how to play, all the different characters and all that kind of stuff we already have ready to go for this project. Thank you.